A long time ago, in a village called Araromi, there lived a farmer and his wife and their two sons. The older son was called Dogo, while the younger one was Mato. One day, the farmer and his wife were about to set off for the farm. And the mother called out, Dogo! And the boy said, yes, mother. There isn't enough food in the house, said their mother. And so I have left a plate of food for your younger brother. It's on the cupboard in the kitchen. What am I going to eat then, said Dogo. I've left some money for you. It's in the purse, and I've kept it in the guard. And when you are hungry, you can get the money from the purse and buy some food for yourself. Well, the farmer said, Dogo, take care of your brother and take care of the house. And so they set out for the farm, ready to come back just before dusk. Shortly after noon, Mato started feeling very hungry. He went into the kitchen and tried to get his food from the cupboard. He jumped and stretched as far as he could go, but he was too short and his hand couldn't reach the plate of food. He started feeling very dejected. Dogo, please, will you give me a hand here? I cannot reach up to the cupboard. But Dogo would not listen to him. He was too busy playing with his friends. And so, Mato sat on the stool, feeling very hungry and dejected. Shortly after this, Mato himself still waiting and Dogo came in looking for his purse his money in the purse where his mother had kept it he tried to reach into the guard to get out the money but his hands were too fat and so they couldn't reach deep into the guard come on Mato come and give me a hand here Put your hand in the guard and bring out the purse so I can get some money to buy my food. But Mato said, you did not help me get my plate of food when I was hungry. And so I'm not going to help you get the purse out of the guard. At this point, Dogo felt very bad. He pulled his brother to him, gave him a hug went into the kitchen, got out his plate of food and handed it over to him. And in turn, Mato put his hand in the guard, picked up the purse and gave him the money. And so he was able to go and buy some food for himself. And so one good turn deserves another.